Well, it's fun because Drew Daywalt is the director of this series, and he directed a f uh, film that I did years ago that Quentin Tarantino had backed, and it was called Stark Raving Mad. Come on, come on, go on. No! Dad, come on! Stop it! Okay, stop, okay, no hate. You, Ben, this is all your fault anyway! If I tell you the truth or dare answer, would you leave no. for your dad? And so that's the first time I ever met Drew as a director. And then we reconnected via Facebook years later, as everybody else in the world has. And, um, and then he came to me with this idea of this, of this web series, and he'd already sold it. And so um, it reconnected Tim Sharp and, and myself again. And Tim was also in Stark Raving Mad. He's doing a big HBO pilot now. Um, but but it, it threw him and I, he and I both back into the mix of working together again with, with Drew. And then... Um, and then a, you know, a bunch, a slew of other talented actors, Donnie Jeffcoat and Jack Klugman, who was in The Odd Couple, and a whole bunch of great actors. And it, and it was a really professional shoot, even though it had very little money to back it. Um, so we shot downtown LA for two weeks, and in two weeks we put out 22 episodes. So you know, we worked our butts off, but we, but we made it happen. Well, I think the idea of each episode has to be that there's a cliffhanger enough so that you come back because watching three to five minutes on an internet is a difficult way to watch a, a show and essentially the show is a movie it runs 90 minutes and it's full length so so essentially it is a film that you're watching but you're breaking it into these you know five minute increments and so in doing that you have to really have a strong cliffhanger at the end of each episode to get people to come back and continue. Um, so the idea was that it was a story first and foremost, that it was almost a love story really between um, she and her grandfather and and also then some of the different characters that come into it that some that have not yet even been introduced but that really followed um, her recovery I think in many ways um, after having a pretty difficult childhood and then in that is the horror and the suspense that also comes with having the journey that she's now having. So I don't know that I would have, you know, that I can necessarily market it as a horror thriller type story because I see it as such a bigger thing than that. I see such a bigger picture with her particular journey, but I know it's certainly been marketed that way.